from the Fox 29 studios, this is Good Day Philadelphia. We get it. Good day, everyone. It's Sunday, May 19th, 2019. We're doing things a little bit differently on this Sunday morning. We have our eyes on Lehigh County, where the implosion is scheduled to go off any second now to take down the historic Martin Tower. It once served as the world headquarters for the former Bethlehem Steel Corporation and is the tallest building in Pennsylvania outside of Philadelphia and Pittsburgh. Our Kelly Rule is there on the ground. Kelly, it's set to go down right now. Any word on when we might watch it happen? All right, Kelly, thank you so much. And we're, of course, going to keep that shot up while Jeff gives us a look at the weather on this fantastic Sunday. Apparently, Jeff, one of the hottest days we've seen all year. Oh. All right, Jeff, we just saw that building go down as you were talking. Uh, we understand now that is no more in Bethlehem. A lot of people lining the streets there uh, gathered on rooftops to watch this long awaited demolition. That building once marked the might and the influence of American industry. It's collapsing with a roar and as Kelly mentioned, raising a cloud of dust over that city's neighborhood. So a heap of debris by that implosion might take some time to clean that up. But of course, uh, a lot of people are now going to be heartbroken. We know a lot of people on one side or the other of this debate, one people one side saying, you know, we're happy to see it go and whatever news coming in. Others saying history should never leave us this way. So this is far from over and we're going to check back in with Kelly to see what people there on the ground are saying. But you can see people lining up there all times of the morning, we understand there's a Wawa there on 8th Avenue. They said yesterday, according to the morning call, they did more business than a typical Saturday afternoon. I think, of course, people buying snacks and kind of positioning themselves to make sure they're there to watch and wait and see this so they could get a, a really good viewing spot. So we under, understand 16,000 tons of structural steel collapsed. Just as they promised, right there after the seven o'clock hour, um, they had everything in place for the bones of that 21 story building to come down. You can see a lot of people crowded around in that area to watch it all happen. So we're going to check back in with Kelly Rule in just a bit. But first, let's give you some updates from some news from overnight. A person's dead after a shooting in North Philadelphia. It happened just after five o'clock this morning near the intersection of North 11th and Ontario streets. The 40 year old victim was shot in the head and torso. They were rushed to Temple Hospital where they died. There are no arrests or suspects. More violence in North Philadelphia. A man is dead after a shooting on the 2300 block of North Cleveland Street. It happened just after 1130 last night. The 36 year old victim was shot multiple times throughout his body. He was rushed to Temple Hospital where he died so far. No arrests have been made. More gun violence in our city. One man is dead, another in critical condition after a double shooting in East Frankfurt. This happened last night, just before 8 on the 2000 block of Orthodox Street. Police say one victim died at the scene after being shot in the side and the chest. The other victim taken by police to Temple University Hospital in extremely critical condition. Police right now are questioning two male suspects. A frightening moment at Neshaminy Mall in Bucks County when a car flipped over after a car crash in the mall's parking lot. You can see one of the cars upside down. The other had front end smashed in. That's all happening just before five o'clock last night. Several people taken to St. Mary's Hospital for treatment. No real serious injuries there. Been Salem police say the cause of that accident now under investigation. In Delaware County, be careful where you park your car. Someone's going on a smash and grab spree and police say someone's breaking into cars and making off with cash and electronics. Our Dave Kinchin has the story from Wayne. A Pennsylvania state trooper has died while on duty. State police say 58 year old Donald Brackett stopped responding to radio calls around 1130 yesterday while on patrol on I-276. His fellow troopers found him unresponsive outside of his patrol car after some apparent medical episode. He was taken to Jefferson Torresdale Hospital where he later died. Pennsylvania State Police just released a statement regarding Trooper Brackett's death. All personnel of the Pennsylvania State Police are deeply affected by this loss. Our thoughts are with Trooper Brackett's family and friends as they mourn his sudden passing. Well, a Philadelphia legend is officially hanging up his jersey and his cleats after 11 seasons in the NFL and two back to back Super Bowl championships. Chris Long announced his retirement yesterday. The former Eagles defensive end helped the Eagles win their only Super Bowl and then showed up to the parade in a fur coat rocking an Allen Iverson jersey underneath. He will also be remembered for what he did off the field actions that earned him the Walter Payton Man of the Year Award back in 2018. Long made the announcement on social media.
thanking all of his fans for the support over the years. His post read 11 years, and I can honestly say I put my soul into every minute of it. Highs and lows, I've seen them both, and I appreciate the perspective, gratitude, and love to those who lifted me up. That announcement isn't a total surprise to Eagles fans. A few weeks ago, Long said he was leaning towards retirement. In fact, he said he told Howie Roseman to, quote, plan on me not coming back, end quote. Eagles owner Jeffrey Lurie had a few things to say about Chris Long, and we will hear more on the Eagles' official reaction statement coming up in sports. Also coming up, tornado torment, powerful thunderstorms erupt across the Midwest, unleashing dozens of scenes like the one you see there. And speaking of weather, here's Jeff Robbins. Yeah, look at the Jeff, thank you so much. Experts say picking up your phone while driving just as bad now as drinking and driving. In fact, distracted driving now causes more crashes in our area than drunk driving. Our Steve Keeley takes us to Delaware County. So I have rodents and bugs, a continual bug problem. Management needs to care about their, their residents. Complaints coming out of Camden County from people who live in an apartment complex that promised luxury living. Instead, it's just the opposite. They say it's not just bugs and critters, but being forced out into the rain in the middle of the night. Our Jeff Cole has their story from Cherry Hill. Oh, have you seen this video? Oh, that's the aftermath of someone that decided that they were gonna kick Arnold Schwarzenegger. The video shows the actor and ex-politician getting drop kicked in the back yesterday while he was attending a sporting event in Johannesburg, South Africa. The 71-year-old former bodybuilder posted the video to Twitter. The actor says he has no plans on pressing charges against the guy who tried to knock him over. No word yet on what sparked that really random attack. And from one bizarre event to another, people in New York City got quite the show yesterday after an electronic billboard caught fire. This video was posted on Twitter showing the blaze there. It sparked just after 3 p.m. Thankfully, though, no one was hurt. Officials still don't know what started that fire. Welcome back. You're watching Good Day Philadelphia Weekend. And let's take a live look outside at Redding this morning. The sun is shining. We've got a little cobweb there in front of our camera, <laughs> but that's okay. We'll get that cleaned up. Jeff Robbins, uh, I hear today's going to be a scorcher of a Sunday. Yeah. All right, Jeff, 731. We have some breaking news out of Lehigh County. Just 30 minutes ago, we watched this happen here on our air. The historic Martin Tower underwent demolition. This was the scene as the building woo, came crashing down within moments. The building that once served as the world headquarters for the former Bethlehem Steel Corporation turned into a plume of smoke. Kelly Rule was there on the ground. She still is in Bethlehem with reaction this morning. Hi, Kelly. 739 Bucks County. Good morning to you. Taking a live look at Doylestown and Diamond the Dog in our studio watching everything go down this morning. All right, ladies, the sun is officially out, right? You heard Jeff today could be the hottest day of the year. So are you sunglasses ready? That's a big question. Our Jen Fred shows us the biggest trends in eyewear. Well, local hero remembers the last time he was in France. It was 75 years ago, June 6th, 1944, D-Day. The 96-year-old is now gearing up to go back to Europe for the first time since World War II. Fox 29 photojournalist Bill Rohr has his story. Well, it's trending, of course. The season finale of Game of Thrones, it airs tonight. Two people who will not be watching it. Lauren and Jeff. We're yeah. really not into it. No. But some fans have not really been happy with the final season, right? Some of them are even launching an online petition what? to have season eight remade. A petition created on change.org quickly closing in on one million signatures. Season eight of Game of Thrones is the most expensive season of television ever produced. So it's unlikely fans are going to get their way, but that's not stopping them from speaking their minds. Could they do it again? Yeah, yeah, I think they can. Whenever anything big pop culture happens, it seems like people are angry about it. They want their voices to be heard. I'm shocked that so quickly it got up to 500. I think now it's even 800,000 signatures. Uh, but obviously, like all of these petitions, it's not going to do anything. Yeah, that's probably the truth. Pop culture classics such as The Sopranos and How I Met Your Mother have been accused of botching the finale. Hopefully Game of Thrones doesn't follow in their footsteps. But we wanted to ask you the question, do you think the final season of Game of Thrones should get a do-over? 
Let us know. You can use the hashtag. I'm starting my own petition right here, Lauren. What's this one for? Well, there's a million signatures that want to keep Game of Thrones or redo it. How about to never, ever air it again? <laughs> Jeff Robbins, here. you can sign I here honestly, if you'd like. Truly, no I will sign your petition because I don't get it. Like, I don't understand it. But my friends that are really into it are like, you have to give it a chance. You should sit down and watch one episode at least. You'll get into it slowly. I've watched maybe five or ten minutes with mm -hmm. a friend. Yeah. Nothing about it seemed exciting. If to it me. doesn't grab you a TV show, it's kind of like when you go into a clothing store, right? Yeah. If and like if that outfit doesn't grab you, you know it's just going to sit in the closet and you'll never wear it. It's a waste of money. Yep. In this case, a waste of time oh, if yeah. I sit there and do it. Hey, listen, it's demolition day. The historic Martin Tower is no more. Kelly Rule was on the ground when it all came crumbling down. Hi, Kelly.